What up, sickos? I know a lot of people might be watching something else. I don't know. But you know, as well as I know, that if it comes to comic grading, I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to talk about exactly what you need to know about this announcement. What the read to read between the lines and tell you the truth about shit. Uh, because, you know, I was at the doctor's. I was at the doctor's today. Um, I would have done this video earlier, but I wanted to like look at all the news. And I know there's a lot of videos already up about this, but hey, I'm going to straight tell you the truth. I haven't seen any of the other videos. I know they're up. Of course, everyone's going to announce as soon as it comes out, but I wasn't ready. Um, I was at the doctor's. But I'm going to tell you the simple truth about everything that's happening with CG Comics, whether they like to hear it or not. I use both CGC, CBS, and EGS. I use everybody. But I'm going to... I'm going to tell you what no one else... Look, I'm not sponsored by CGC like some other channels. Okay? I don't... I'm not sponsored by anyone. I buy whatever I can. I sell whatever I can. I do it for a reason. Yeah, it's... I'm not the father, RJ. So, I'm going to tell you exactly what happened in my own words. First of all, we all know CGC raised their prices. Okay? Now, I was an elite member where I got 15% off. So what that means to me is if I bought my total, okay, for 25 books is $492, okay? So if I divide that by 25, I was paying after shipping and everything almost $20 a book. Now, First of all, they've taken the 10% away, or the 15% off for an elite member. And they made it 10% off. So that raises my prices. And they raised the price of slabs up $2. Okay? So they pay, I don't know what that equals. Maybe an additional $5 total out the door. So $5 times... 25 is 125 plus 492. Oh, also shipping prices are going to raise up. So I'm going over to about over $600 now for 25. Okay. So here's the shit they don't want to tell you. Okay. This is my opinion, but I know what I'm talking about. Okay. I've been doing this for well over 10 years now. Um, the first thing I know about CGC is their quality is worse now. I get slabs back and they're moving around in the case. They're going, some guys have seen, I got a slab back and it's sideways in the case. Why? The theory probably is because they don't want the, um, the, the little water. God damn it. Why do I always, the Newton rings. So they're making it loose in the slab so that it won't create those Newton rings. So the slabs are bigger. They move around. The comics move around more in the slabs. Now, here's the problem. What you need to see out of the email, everyone's looking at the price increase. Yeah, that's a problem, okay? But there's a bigger problem here. A couple different things. Number one, they kind of gave themselves away where they got rid of the quick pressing price and made it the same price as the normal pressing. Why? Because it was always the same thing in the first place. It was always the same thing. A quick press and another press, they were the same thing. It was bullshit. I remember watching a video once where someone mentioned, one of their employees mentioned, oh, it's the same thing. And they, oh, shit. She actually said it was the same thing. All they're doing is getting rid of that shit, okay? And they're raising the price on the pressing. This is the most important thing I think you should get out of this video. Are you ready? It said they hired 70 more employees in the last three months. What do you think those 70 employees are going to be doing? They're going to be grading our books. You're telling me 
that you hired 70 new employees to increase production and move into a new fa new facility. Okay. How long does it take to train an expert grader? I've been doing it for years. And a lot of people are going to say in the comments, that Bill, you're not an expert grader. Okay. I've only taught myself over 10 years how to do it. You will not be able to teach anybody in three months, especially off the street, how to grade books. Now, I want everyone to know that if they're still in this video after it's played five minutes and 30 seconds, yes, I did my due diligence. And what did I do? I called Steve Barak from CBCS while I was at the doctor. He will be on the show Monday night. He is the one that started grading. He is the one that started CGC. He is the one that is at CBCS. If there is a time for CBCS to come out and take advantage of a situation, this is it. So I will have him on Monday night for you guys because he is God when it comes to grading. Okay? Now, what you need to get out of this damn thing is costs are going up. You're looking at probably a $100 increase uh, you're looking at about a hundred dollar increase for you people that are studying 25 in pre-screen now there's this rumor that they're not going to do pre-screening anymore i don't know how true that is i think it's bullshit why wouldn't they do pre-screen they'll raise the price if it's a fail i'm sure they'll raise a price pre-screen 985 or free screen whatever is five dollars if you fail I'm sure they'll raise the price but there's no way they would get rid of it. There's no way they would get rid of pre-screen. Why? Because they want your books. They want you to get a 9-8 so they can charge you $22 now. I think the date is April 28th. Where you have to have your books submitted in online before the price goes up. But here's the problem. I pay for the elite member service. That's the highest tier. And I'm going to get the same 10% discount as the scrubs in the middle tier? Get the fuck out of here. Get get the fuck out. I paid fucking triple. Why am I getting only 10% off? I said a fucking thousand books a year, dude. And their, their books are getting worse in the slab. Why? Because I think of the Newton rings. Because I'm making it loose so you don't get the Newton rings. Why do they do that? Because CBCS invented a case now that they have a patent on that there's no Newton rings. So CGC ought to figure out something because they can't, this is my theory here, they can't copy that, steal that patent because there's a different type of plastic. Okay. So, look, I'm going to have the owner, of C well, the head grader, the guy that started everything, he's now over at CBCS, Steve Barack, on, on Monday night. That's the first thing I thought. The first thing I thought was, look, I use both these services. Let's give CBCS their shot again because they won't attack. They've never attacked. They say, we have a good service. We don't have to attack. We have, like, 10 graders. Dude, CBCS, yes, takes longer to get your books back. But they have a better case, and they only have like 10 graders. And they're expertly trained by the best grader in the world, Steve Barak. Now, the head grader at CGC, he was the head presser for CCS. Now he's the head grader at CGC because Steve Barak's not there. That's fine. I don't care. I'm sure he's a great guy. But you cannot up your prices all this. I guess you can. You could do whatever you want, okay? But, dude. Give me better product because my shit and my slabs that I've been getting are moving around. They, get your new slab moving around. Some of them come out of the thing. What is going on? Everything's a 9-8. That's cool. I mean, I guess you could pay for that. But, dude, if this isn't a, a shout to you saying, hey, it's time to move, dude, no more. The quick press is the same. There is no more quick press. Why? Because a quick press and a regular press are the same fucking thing. That's why. And they want more money. They're going to raise the prices on shipping. Okay? They raise the price on the slabs, modern tier, two. Oh, they raise the minimum from 200 
Okay, in the modern tier, 1975, it was 200 or more. 200 or less, so you wouldn't get charged more. You wanted to get like a insurance policy. I think my books were $200. Everyone was putting $200, even if it was $1,000, because they want to pay more to get a book rated. So now they raise it to 400 so you could claim more. That doesn't mean shit. They're just going to all say that we're 400 now, as long as they don't have to pay more. But the thing, thing is, they're going to pay more. Okay? 2%, or $2 more per book. And if you're a higher member at 15% off, you're only getting 10% off. Shipping's going up. And the scary thing is they've hired 70 new people in the last three months. Okay? Those are 70 noobs that never knew shit about grading. They're going to be touching my books. I don't care what you say. You're not going to tell me any different. Now, am I going to keep sending to CGC? Probably. But I'm really considering moving 100% to CBCS now. It's a no-brainer. There's only like 10 graders. CGC has over 100 currently a day. 100 graders. How can that be accurate? How can that all be the same? You get one grader given 9.8, one guy given 9.4. And why is this happening? Is it because they decided to jump in the sports card market? Get the hell out of the collectible card market, dude. BGS and uh, PSA own that shit. <coughs> they own that market. I'm sorry, CGC. You asked for this from me. You asked. I'm not going to sit here and blow CGC anymore. I'm not. I've always said I do CGC and CBCS. But, okay. You want to do a price raise on your grades? Fine. Fine. $2 a book? Okay. But don't take away my 15% and make me a new 10% off when I'm paying elite level. And don't tell me you got 70 new people in the last three months at a new facility. Are we paying for Is that why the price went up? Because we're paying for your new facility? And not expert graders? Now, let's just say 50 of those 70 are new graders. Okay. Now you got 150 people grading books. Then shit's all over the place. No accurate grade. So, and then the pressing thing, that's just a scam, guys. It's a, We all know it's a scam. Almost everybody that knows how to grade comics knows and, and does it for a living. Either they press themselves or they hire an expert presser to do it. Because they know when you send a book over there, it's just bullshit. Okay, someone said I removed two months renewed two months ago. Don Davis. From what I read, if you renewed your service, this is what they're trying to say, I think. Before April, let's say we all get another service now. We get our service now. I think we're grandfathered in for a year at the old rates. I think that's what they're trying to say in their email. Regardless. It's not just a price increase. It's $2 more. You take away, if you're a top leader, if you weren't a top tier, then you're already getting 10% off. But you take the top people, the guys that pay the most, like me. And you say, sorry, your 15%'s gone. We're giving you 10 now, like the scrubs. I'm not calling you scrubs. I used to be a base. I used to do it for free or a middle. But I said, you know what? I do so many books. Let me get that extra 5%. And they're talking about raising the shipping prices. And they throw in the little quick press, no more quick press thing. Uh, it's just a regular, modern, whatever, standard press. Why? Because they weren't making money on the quick press, and they're the exact same process. Here's the problem, okay? I will have the head CBCS grader Monday. I've already confirmed it. I want to be the first to have him because I think it's important that he gets out there. I, I'm, talk, I'm talking about having the best grader in the world on the show, again, right after this announcement. And I want to see, look, Steve, 
here. Here's your platform. Tell us why should we move over there again? I've already told them a million times why you should try different companies. Cheaper, less graders, better plastic, better quality, better grading. Yes, you might get a lower grade because they're growing, grading accurate. This whole fucking grading world is based on how much can I get and why. Oh, well, if I have a 98 CGC, I'm going to get $10 more on eBay. I'm going to get $10 more on eBay because it's CGC. That's why I don't use CBCS. It makes no fucking sense. Plus, the books are moving around in the slabs and CGC. I sent a CGC. I didn't even look at it. I had a box of 25. I sent it off. To, I can't remember who it was. it was. One of the subs. Bought it. Didn't even look at it. It was in the bag. I sold it in the bag. He got it back said, dude, there's like crackers and shit in my slab. I'm like, are you fucking serious? Of course, CGC took care of it, but he's got to send it back to them and do all that shit. I don't know, guys. I'm not here sucking anybody's balls, okay? I, you, I don't have a link below where you can go to CGC and purchase them and I get a percentage. No, I don't. Nor do I have CBCS. I do have a code for EGC, EGS to help him out because he's just starting, and I don't get anything from that. It's just to help you guys out if you want to try a color label and shit like that. I do have that, a code, but I don't get anything from it. But, I mean, come on, dude. Let's be hardcore. Let's be real people here. Let's fucking be real here. What the fuck are you doing? The quality has come down. We've all noticed. I get a 9.8 slab, sometimes a 9.4 in there. They move around in the slab. And you've got a million fucking graders. Okay, I could deal with you charging me two more dollars more, but don't take away my discount. Don't raise shipping prices. Don't tell me you're moving into a brand new multi-million dollar facility in the same sentence and hiring 70 more amateur graders because that just pisses me off. That means I'm paying for your new facility and having noob graders touch my books. If I could slab my own books, I would. Okay? I would. And my shit would be accurate. Now, I don't know what type of clarification I'll be get. Uh, I don't know about the dealer account, but I'm sure it went up. I mean, everything got to go up. Here's the problem. CBCS is a little slower because they only have like 10 graders in there. These graders have been trained for years. They don't just hire some guy off the street that says, oh, I've been grading books for you know a week. Don't worry. We got this great training program. We'll teach you how to grade books in three months. Maybe. But no, dude. No way. It's a freaking chop shop, dude. It's like, it's got to be like Nike shoe warehouses. Like, where you can't breathe in there. Like, you, here's my table. Oh, here's my book. A table the size enough for a book, books, and but I bet you that's how it is in there. I like cubicles without the cube. Like people seeming sweaters and tennis shoes, but just comic books in front of them. Prove me wrong. Show me, CGC. Show me. I don't know what to say. Of course I'm going to go off. This is my new thing. I'm fucking starting to go off and not care anymore. But, like, I can't have that combination of bullshit in one newsletter. Because we're so incredible, this is how it goes, because we're so incredible, we've hired 70 more people and trained them in the last three months. We've opened up a new multi-million dollar empire business. By the way, we're raising your shit $2. We're cutting your discounts. There's no more quick press and shipping costs more. 
Oh, I wonder why. But I'm still going to use them until the time runs out. I've got like 300 books over there right now. I'm not joking. I have 300 slabs over there. They're all 9-8 too. You know why? Because I pre-screened them myself. So exactly. Looks like CBS is about to boom. Why not? Why does it only have to be one grading company that commands everything? The only reason they can raise their prices and screw us in discounts is because they know that there's only one way, CGC. And that's always going to be the retail market. Wake the fuck up, people. There are other grading companies out there. And one of them has the best grader in the world over there. Why are we letting them be a monopoly? This Now, I love Diamond Comics, okay? And yes, they were a monopoly. But they kept us alive for 20-some years getting comic books. I don't mind trying to save Diamond, okay? But we didn't make Diamond the monopoly. Because they were the best or whatever. They were just doing their... We're still making CGC the best. They're the best. I've had more slabs fall apart with books inside than ever before from CGC recently. Why? Are they pushing books out too fast? I don't fucking know. But this is a red alert for you guys. This is a red alert for you guys. Do you want to consistently be stuck having to use one company? And because we do that, because... The market says CGC is the best. Now we're going to even pay more to pretend like the market's right. The market isn't always right, guys. The market isn't always right. I am telling you right now, this is not a fucking ad for CBCACS, okay? But I know the difference. I've done tests. I spent a shitload of money testing all the grading companies. The best graders are at CBCS. I don't know what else to say. But everyone's going to keep buying CGC because they're the most expensive on the aftermarket. Well, you know what? That's because you let them. And now the prices go up. Why wouldn't they? <laughs> I'm having fun. I'm having I'm having fun, Thomas. That's right, Nate. So it's up to you. Do you want to spend a shitload of fucking money? Or do you want to start expanding your options? I don't know. I'm going to be like this with Steve on Monday. I'll try to be a little bit more respectful. But I need I need him to show some push. Tom, I understand that. It's my, exactly my point. It's what's the market demanding? Why is the market demanding it? We are the fucking market. The market is not the market. We are. We are the market. We are the ones that decide if we're going to pay that much or not. We are the ones that decide if we're going to list it for that much or not. How come you can't have a CGC and a CBCS book? And I've never, I've always done this. A hundred dollar CGC book, and then a CBCS book is ninety. Same fucking book. Why? Because we didn't say let's make that CBCS book a hundred dollars. And make it evil, even. Why is it even? I don't have any problem selling a CBCS at the same price as CGC sold for. But for some reason, we think that's real. It's not me. It's majority of people out there that are buying and selling. 
Most people that buy and sell slabs, if they're new to it, they think, oh, well, CG, who, what's the best company? CGC. Okay. They buy CGC. I just want to be real about it, guys. You have to read between the lines. New biz, new building. 70 new people hired. Okay, those are new graders? Where'd you find those guys? In the three months. Shipping's going up. Discounts going down. Price of comics going up. Quick press is gone. Dude, they're basically saying fuck you. Is what they're saying. To all the people that love them so much. I just, I want to be the one, I, again, I just got home a little bit ago. I have not, I do not watch other YouTube channels. I see titles, though. Like, I searched before I went live. I put CGC comments. Okay, how many people? Boom, 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 all these people talking about it. I'm willing to bet, I don't know because I haven't watched it, no one has said what I'm saying right now. Not the way I'm saying it. So it's up to you guys. I mean, look, we can all keep – I don't know what to say. They're a fucking monster, and they need to be tamed. They need to be tamed. We are the market. It's not just $2 a book. It's shipping. It's discounts. It's – prep. dude, that all adds up. Your new your 25 book is from $492 at the top tier. That's what I was paying. $492. It's about $20 a book for 25. Just went up hundred dollars. Inflation. Prices are going up all around us. I guess. I think it has a lot to do with just the same old bullshit. The same, we're the best. That bullshit attitude. We're the best. The collectible market is fucking freaking out right now. Cards. That's why they got into the card game. Because the card game's ridiculous right now. They just jumped in. You don't just jump in. You're third place, bro. BGS, PSA, now CGC. You're third place. I don't care what you do. You can buy a multi-billion dollar complex. Beckett and PSA will always be better than you. But they had to jump in because they like money. And the comic book collectible, there's a picture of them holding a Superman. Oh, the highest selling Superman ever. Why are they doing that? Because the market is out of fucking control. So what are they going to do? Raise prices. Yes, CGC is the one in Florida. I saw them hiring mad people on a job listing site. They just said they hired 70 people in three months. That's another thing. There is no consistent grading thing. No one follows the same thing. The one who started it was CGC. Or uh, Steve Barack at CGC. Look, you can get an older book slab from CGC that when Steve Barack was working there. They were tight. They were tight on their gradings. Then he left. Then it started loosening up. All of a sudden, you're seeing spine ticks, 9-8. You're seeing all this shit. Then they said, we need Steve back. We need an opposition company. Let's start CBCS, okay? So they started CBCS. That grading standard that Steve had in the initial part brought to CBCS. So the higher grading standard is at CBCS still. That was originally. And then BGS, Beckett, the best in sports card grading, Bought CBCS. Ask yourself, why didn't they buy CGC? Who knows? I don't know. Well, there's there's also e EGS and PG PGX. What's so funny is to me is 
This is a money grab, right? It's a money grab. No problem. And they think that we're all just going to say, let's do it. But if the smart fucking people out there are going to say, you know what? I'd rather save $7 and have more options in a better case. And I'm going to go to CBCS. The only problem with that is CBS only has about 10 graders or 7 to 10 graders. And they're slower because of that fact. So it'll take longer to get your books. So then it becomes this weight of options. Then it becomes this. And that's why they, I'm sure CGC weighed these things. If we do this, people are going to want to go to CBCS. But once they go to CBCS, it's going to be slower. So then they'll come back to us and we'll still get our money because we know. We're the best. We command, not we're the best, we command the most in the aftermarket or whatever, right? These guys are fucking big ass companies, dude. So, Dink, I've I've had this, I've talked about this before, plenty of times, but you still get the same shit. CGC is the best. CBC is the most in the aftermarket. We don't care if Steve Brock started it all. We want our CGC. Because I can get $5 more when I sell it. It's so stupid. Now, I admit, I've got some books at CBCS right now that are still there, and it's frustrating. And I've messaged them, but don't message back. But you know what happened? I called Steve Brock because I know him. And he answered the phone. So there you go. I said, Steve, I want you on Monday night. Let's talk about everything again. It's time. This is your opportunity again. It's time. So my head's about to blow off. And I got to warn you guys. This new doctor visit I went to, I have some severe ear problems, right? Ear infection and some other shit in my throat. And she's going to put me on like a massive steroid thing. So in the next week, I'm going to be on fucking fire crazy. So when I'm live, I'm going to be destroying everything that comes up. But just be wary of this. Starting tomorrow and the next couple of days, I'm going to be like this steroid insane machine. And you guys are going to be like, what the hell happened to Bill? I know you guys already go, um, I know you guys already go, what's wrong with Bill already? But tell me, I'm not on any medication. I don't drink. I don't do drugs. I'm permanently fucked, okay? <laughs> but in the next week, I'm going to be like Arnold Schwarzenegger. So I'm glad I did this now. If this seems hot, get ready. Yeah. <laughs> Text. Text, send me an Instagram message. I'll send you something. All jacked up on coffee. Get out of here. Stupid. <laughs> I'm all jacked up on sickness. Life. I don't need fucking coffee to be hyped about comics. I love comics. I love bringing you artists. I love talking shit. I like showing you everything. I love pissing you off. I love pissing every other channels. I don't fucking care. This is my passion. And it makes, I'm dying because of it. I've been to three goddamn doctors. This doctor seems like she got it right, though. Oh, how could you not love to see Summer Fight? That cover of Ryan Brown's sick. Anyway, look, I got a lot of more shit to do. And I wanted to do my rant on it. I need you guys to use your fucking brains. It's all in the email. It tells you everything. You got to be able to read between the lines. Okay, $2 increase. Okay, shipping went up. Okay, you just took away my discount? What the fuck? Okay, quick pressing gone? Why is that? Oh, Hired 70 more people in three months? They're going to touch my books? Fuck that. Oh, bought a new facility? 
Read between the fucking lines, guys. <laughs> you know, some of you said the bitches. You know, I, I let, I, most of my books that are at CBCS right now are two types of books. Why use CBCS? No, I didn't get COVID. Number one, because I can do the yellow label verified. I love that. And number two, if you have a high, a high quality book, right? Like, I don't know. All my high quality shit's hidden. Oh, like this. God damn it. It's over there. Like an exclusive book with good paper, you get nine nines and tens all day long. Yes, I do EGS too. Up, oh, Texas trying to get his free shit already. And don't be burning my shit live, Tex. Because once you give me your address, I know where you live. All right, I sent your just send me your message. Uh anyway, yeah. So look, what yes, the collectible market's on fire. Okay. Perfect time to raise prices. But There's too much in that email that scares the shit out of me. I just, I want to be able to fucking help you guys. Here's one of the problems. I'm going to do a video like this, right? Someone's going to share it on CBSI. Okay? Someone's going to share it on CBSI on their Facebook group. And there's going to be a hundred people talking shit. A thousand of them. You know why? Because the CBCSI Facebook group doesn't know shit about comics. I don't know why there's a difference in the Facebook group. And there's a difference with whatever else. The site everyone goes to. Or whoever's involved. You need to look at shit, guys. Who's involved with CBSI? Who's involved with CGC? Who's involved with this company? That company? Everyone's fucking involved with each other. So can you get ever get real truth? Can you ever get real truth? Yes. I involve myself with Comics Elite because they're a comic book store. But me and him go back and forth. I have my own online comic book store. Me and him are up each other's ass constantly. There's a relationship there. You know, it pissed me off. I piss him off. We're friends. We're not it, it's 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 the collector with the comic book owner, store owner even though now I am. But the only other people I associate with myself are artists and writers. And BCW, which does all our supplies for our comic books. Gemini, who is kind of, they're kind of like against each other, but they're willing to sacrifice me helping both of them, right? BCW and Gemini. Because they both do different things. And uh, now the slab shipper, I can't get enough of that. I'll talk about that all day. But shit, I might not even use it anymore because slabs are too expensive. <sighs> I'm hyped. I'm cooling down, though. My head got real hot. Trying not to talk, but fuck, I'm pissed. Uh, Esteban, it'll be in the description below. I think, uh, okay, I know that Gemini's economics 10, and then I think BCW is either econ or econ 5. I think it's just econ or econ 10. 
Because BCW and Gemini are both 10%. Let me tell you something about that. You know why I did that? Two reasons. Why I went, I went after the best company in the world, BCW, and the best shipping, B, uh, Gemini. Why did I do that? Two reasons. One, to save us money. Three reasons. To save us money. Let's, let's start over. To save you money. To protect our fucking books that we love. And to ship them right. And so I could save money. I was tired of paying a shitload of money on bags and boards and boxes at the store. So I said, yeah, let me work a deal. I'll say something and I'll get my code. I can use the code too. No fucking brainer, guys. Come on. I don't really want to get into the reason why, but you're not going to get uh, You might get a higher grade on this, but any comic nowadays, the highest you're going to get is a 9.8. Unless it's like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle binding, the Last Joker type of binding, those type of comics with the weird binding. Batman Who Laughs, or an exclusive comic that's made from like Coffin Comics or an exclusive that I did like this, like Hardly Thick, where they're getting they're getting them done individually, not on in a mass production scale. Where's all my shit? Like this, this type of paper quality is way better. Right? Like custom books. Or that's the only way you're getting tens and nine nines. You're not getting that shit on any book anymore ever. I love Tinian. Oh, bad idea. There's a good idea. Yeah, I put them away, but those books, man, are fucking incredible. The paper quality, they've got to be losing money doing that. If you really think about it, they're like embossed. They're like all this cool looking shit on it. That paper's great, man. And the interior paper's fire. You got 20% off? So the, the trick with that is, Connie, the trick with that is you all spend $200. You get free shipping. For instance, I ordered because of the new online store, economicsandcommerce.com. I ordered 2,500 silver and silver bags and boards. Because I knew you guys are going to eat them up so fast. So, look, I don't want to waste your time and start ranting on a bunch of other stuff. I wanted to talk about this in the real way that needs to be said. Anger. Okay? Anger. I'm a loving guy. I love you guys. I love doing this channel. I love spending my entire day doing this shit. Okay? So, I'm going to express my feelings about shit. And that shit pissed me off. It's bullshit. There's a lot of hidden messaging in there that only a trained, sick-ass professional like myself can spot. <laughs> Get out of here, Esteban Torres. No Mac Supplies boards in here. This is BCW Supplies, the sickest in the world. There. They are a true monopoly. Okay. There you go. That's how you do it, Connie. That's how you do it. I got to say something. BCW isn't going to like this, okay? I'm with both BCW and Gemini, okay? BCW or Gemini's new boxes are fucking awesome. I had to say it. Gemini's boxes are fucking awesome. Their large box is longer. It's stronger. There's so many pluses. 
I don't know. We need to get someone to come give Comic Joel a pee pee touch. And I just talked to the guy from Gemini to, uh, yesterday. He's living in Japan right now. That dude's crazy. 50 likes, 123 people. That just makes me want to leave. Okay, with the 122 people in, I want to tell you one thing before you all leave. So stay here. It takes me 20 seconds. My top three comics to buy show that will hit on Monday, you have to watch it. It will be the funniest top three comics to buy show you have ever seen, ever. You have to watch the alternate reality. Whatever you do, come back Monday and watch the top three comics to buy. It's going to be absolutely amazing. And you're going to laugh so hard. That's what this is all about. Laugh. <coughs> okay. I can show me. You want me to show you a preview? Let me show you. I'm going to show you a preview. The one part I shouldn't show you. Are you ready? I, don't know, I probably shouldn't show this. Welcome back to Economic America. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm back, man. I'm trying. Welcome back to Economic America. Back to Mananamakas. Yes, <laughs> man. I can't show you. It won't, I can't fast forward. I'm almost there. All right, we're almost there. <laughs> this is the best. <laughs> God damn it. All right, ready? Here we go. Robin Joe was in the closet peeking out. Very jealous. It's okay. Robin, you can have her now. I'm done. <laughs> I can't I can't show you any more. You might have to rewrite. Right. It's so damn funny. Okay, guys. I gotta go. Okay? I hope that whatever I said made some sense. Peace. Sorry. Gotta go, guys. Gotta go. See you tomorrow. Tomorrow night, FOC show.